Very nice. It's Coach Osborne to invite us to his coming out party. 1973 marked not only the debut of Nebraska coach Tom Osborne, but a sophomore center from Bellevue. We've talked to you about Rick Bonnet, the 205-pound 6'4", quick-moving sophomore. That's... A Cornhusker career, twice including first-team All-American honors. Rick Bonnet, University of Nebraska. Rick was with us last year, and he's some center. The only time anyone ever moved Rick out of position was when they built a freeway through his leg. Just to start with, I had the opportunity. The position opened up. I hadn't gotten hurt. So, I mean, there's so much luck involved. You step in and take advantage of that, but there's a lot of luck. After Nebraska, Rick Bonas spent five seasons in the NFL, where relationships with teammates helped shape his life after football as an attorney at Kudak Rock. My first dream about playing football was that looking at the, uh, from afar, looking at the lights shining on the high school game. Um, and then it just, the dreams changed, became more about causes for others. That ultimately uh, turned, in, became a dream to find a cure for type 1 diabetes for our two sons. Bonus using his football past as a platform and a playbook in his work with the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Being involved with a group of people, the idea of 100% effort and perseverance until the final whistle go, blows, you know, and then now that's a cure for type 1 diabetes. And like his days as an All-American lineman, Bonus not resting on his laurels, but focused on the next play. In Omaha, Matt Lothrop, KETV News Watch 7 Sports.